the people of India launched a countrywide program of malaria eradication. By 1958, India's war against malaria had become the largest public health program in the history of mankind. Soon huge shipments of DDT began to arrive in the Indian ports. DDT is the ammunition needed to wipe out an age-old enemy that ravaged our people living in half a million villages, to free our choked agricultural and industrial development, to eradicate malaria from India. Recruits were trained at NMEP. Their training covered specialized laboratory work and field operations. Classroom lectures were supplemented by actual field work. Trainees learned to make use of the latest development in new insecticides, blood examination, animal resistance to malaria, mosquito studies, dissection of glands, testing of anti-malarial drugs, parasite investigation, research for new insecticides, mosquito resistance to insecticides, and so on. Spray nozzles must be checked and adjusted for specified rate of DDT discharge. Proper maintenance of spray equipment must continue to keep the gear in fighting trim. Thousands of spraymen were trained to spray meticulously, for they must spray every house all over India. The supervisors were trained for field work. They learned to pinpoint and rectify lapses in spraying and surveillance. With the mobilization of the trained personnel and their fighting gear came the attack. Here is just one of the 393 field units that work throughout the country. Each unit must protect over one million people. Children, pets and other desired movable items must be brought out and food must be protected before spraying can begin. In one year alone, at the height of attack, India used over 67 million pounds of DDT to eradicate malaria. Inspectors must examine the walls and ceilings for proper deposit of DDT. No dark corner must be left out. The surveillance phase 